Was this a good year for the NBA? No. It was a great year for the NBA. <laughs> now, don't confuse NBA with the game of basketball. The game of basketball may be taking some hits because people are distracted from the actual game. But soap opera sells in sports. The week before the Super Bowl, what were we talking about? We weren't talking about the Super Bowl. We, we were talking about Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. We were talking about that. Mm -hmm. You have the New York Knicks and the Los Angeles Lakers, the two biggest markets with two of your biggest teams, are going to be the story all summer long. The reality is and I, the NBA has become a transactions league. People don't. That's not good. Well, but you are owning more of the sports landscape than ever before. People may not be watching the games. They may not care as much about the outcome. But they love the NBA because there is a lot of action. It just happens to be more off the court than on. Mm. Good year for the NBA. Great year for the NBA. I agree with them. These are just really? th these are the symptoms of success. Uh, what Grandma used to say: uh, <laughs> You only beat up what you eat up. You know what I mean? You get close to something, you start nitpicking. Why? Because you all into it. And that's what's happening to you right now. Having a lot of people out there. Oh, look at the NBA. This, 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 this went wrong. You're consuming it now, aren't you? You got you got that menu of items of issues. What's Guess gonna what? happen next? Guess what's going you that got you hook, line, and sinker. And it's translating because you said it best. If you look at the metrics in terms of landscape and, and real estate that they are consuming, NBA Twitter, NBA on Instagram, like everywhere you look, impact, NBA is taking over in terms of just occupying your mental space. Whether you actually watch the games and give them the, the entire 48 minutes, that will translate later down the road. I agree with both of you guys. It was a great year for the NBA. And you always talk about TV shows, right? That's a yeah, TV show. A TV show. Yeah. And what are, what are real good TV shows have in it? They have some, some stories of success, some stories of failure, and a whole lot of drama hmm. to keep you involved in it. And that's what it was. If you talk about just the drama that went on, People were intrigued by that, like what they hit on. But let's talk about the actual playing, the arrival of Giannis, mm. the historic run of James Harden. Russell Westbrook average, messed around average, another triple-double. And then the young stars coming up. It was a good day, huh? Yeah, it was. It was a, it was a great day. <laughs> Actually, a great year for the NBA. But yeah. then the young stars like Donovan Mitchell, uh, Joel Embiid, my, everything about this league right Trae now. Trey Young, Luca. Trey Young, Luca. Everything about this league is moving in the right direction. Here's it's why y'all wrong. And, uh -oh. and I, I really Here's why y'all wrong. Here's why Let's hear wrong. it. There's two reasons. One, y'all caught up in social media, which isn't the real world. That would be number one. Number two, <laughs> here's my biggest fact on this. The biggest star in basketball this year didn't even play in the NBA. His name was Zion Williamson, and he played in college basketball. It has been forever since anybody in college basketball has even been on the same planet with anybody in the NBA. That, and one, that says something about what a terrific story and how fascinating Zion is, but it also says something. And look, it's great that he's coming to the NBA. Yes. But again, when he's overshadowed anything on the court, he was the most fascinating person to watch on a basketball court this winter. That's not a good look. For Nobody the NBA. sells hope better than the NBA. All this, we got to have draft picks, we got to have assets. I don't know. The NFL does a damn good job <laughs> of that parity. Okay, but, here's the <laughs> but here's the distinction. Yes, in terms of your team being able to go up and make the playoffs or whatever, the reality is, can anybody win the Super Bowl? Yeah. We, that's a debate. For, that's a debate for another Cleveland time. Cleveland, but here's they're but, winning the Super but, Bowl. But, Stop it. Okay, but they think. But Darks. they 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 think it. Yeah. They think it. The Browns. Yeah. Here's the reality. <laughs> Zion Williamson is already an asset for the NBA. Yes. Because you have all of these NBA teams that are in the lottery thinking, oh, we could get Zion. Mm. Never mind that when Zion comes in, he's not transforming some team. No. The dude's not that good yet. In your opinion. Well, mm. you know he needs a better skill and, set. No, I get it, but in y'all's opinion, he's. But, he, he's not coming in and, and leading the team to a championship. No. But, but there are fans who believe that that could happen. All they want to do is get Zion. The NBA sells hope. The, the whole idea of the reality is secondary. The first, the primary is, oh, what do you think it'll be like if Kawhi comes to the Clippers? Or what do you think it would and be like if Kyrie and KD? Games. Yes, but How that's about, but oh, that, that hope and that dream. doesn't sit out a third of the games. If Anthony Davis doesn't sit out. If Again, the NBA has some issues. I, well, you got to blame Popovich for that because I believe he really started that. Regardless of who you blame, I'm just saying, 
the product, the main thing has to be the main thing. And the product no, in the NBA, no, no. The let me tell you, let me, games let me, let me tell you, have to matter and be competitive no, and compelling. As the, NFL, as the NFL, we were enlightened as a player rep in the NFL meetings to this adage: uh, the only thing that is more valuable than production is potential. Why do rookie mm. jersey sales just go up there and compete with a ten-time All-Pro? You're like. He just got here. Baker Mayfield, top 10. And you're like, he just got here. Uh, anytime you look at the marketing deals, it's always some proven guy or some guy who's up and coming, and you're like, oh, I'm looking for Juju with A.B. Like, just respect that there is a difference in resume. So the NBA is also, they're listening to that same adage. And the best storyline to me is, is the crown on the king starting to wobble? That's the best storyline. And that's the it, problem. It, that's great that why everybody that else gets a shot. I'm going to tell you why. Here comes and, and I hate to do this because it sends things in a somewhat bad direction, but look at the NFL. Hmm. Patrick Mahomes and Baker Mayfield, they appear really ready to carry the NFL hmm. and to light the torch and to take it from Brady and those so one guys. bad season. Uh, so, no, no, but, but, but again, I'm Patrick missing Mahomes where this is bad. I'm, not, I'm waiting for the bad part. I, I do know where you're in the, in the NBA, NBA can carry the torch when LeBron falls. The conversation every day. That's, that's his Who? Point. Y'all have y'all don't have okay. it. Ain't Luca, okay. but it ain't Trey. All right, Kevin Durant. You better hope it's is Zion. Kevin he can't do it. Not Zion, like Kevin I Durant. Zion is, I don't think Zion is as big as I mean, it's a great story, but he's not bigger than the NBA story. He was just a, he was only uh, big because of what he was doing in college basketball, right? He was the Very sidebar. Exciting. He Let's was a sidebar, TV. but yeah, he was. But he was a sidebar conversation next to the NBA. All these shows, we watch them all the time. We talk more about the NBA. Zion got slid this in the there. Last time <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talked about a college so, player right, in right. basketball. You're getting excited over the condiments. It's that's the what meat that's what potatoes doing, right, the NBA. Yeah. You're like, oh, that mustard. He liked that. <laughs> appet- he liked the appetizers. Uh, <laughs> LeBron's yeah. not gone yet either. I mean, the succession plan and to see who can knock him off. That's part of the intrigue as well. Adam we Silver go. said this to me years ago before he was a commissioner. I was in the NBA offices. I just kind of wanted to get the lay of the land. I was, I was Tell us what he said. Good. You got to go. <laughs> the dirty little secret is nobody watches our games, and it doesn't matter. Mm. Wow. Mm.